So in this video, I'm going to be going over a nice Palo Alto security feature to help mitigate um, risk on some of your interfaces for uh, potential attackers who may be doing reconnaissance to try to see open ports um, that are open, ping sweeps to see what IP addresses are available, things like that. So with that, uh, they have what's called zone protection. And zone protection, what this does is it allows you to set almost like limits on what can be allowed on particular zones um, as they come across. So for this video, I'm gonna be going over ICMP. Now this can be done for SIN um, packets, other IP, UDP, IC, ICMPv6, and some of these other uh, filters here as well. So to kind of give you an idea on how this can help you, I'm gonna just name this ping scan and tests for large amounts of ping scans. And this can be applied on any zone, so it could be, um, you know, probably more than likely would be on your untrusted zone, which could possibly be your outside um, traffic, or it could even be within, you know, your network, stuff like that. So I'm just gonna hit, well actually we're gonna um, choose ICMP, and I'm not gonna be able to simulate that many connections per second. So what I'm gonna do is, I am going to set this at two for the alarm rate, two for activate um, connections, and two for the max connections. And I am going to hit OK here. So this just gets the profile created, or you know, but it doesn't apply to anything yet. So my topology here, which will only focus on this left side here, gives us gives me uh, a Palo Alto firewall with one. Um, PC connected to it. So I'm going to go ahead and add two more. Now I am on the free version of EV and G, so I'm going to have to stop this to add two more, um, a couple more hosts to it. So I'm going to go look here called PC, and I'm going to add three more. Hit save here. So I'm going to take these and actually these started. So let's see if we can stop those. Uh, give me one second here, because these, since I'm not on the professional version, I may need to restart that real quick here. Okay, so I got those stopped here, and let me just go ahead and add all of these. There as well. And then, so now I got my four connections. And let's go ahead and get these started. And then now I'm gonna have to assign these IP addresses. So let's go into these here. So IP 1.6. Then slash 24. And let's just go down the line here. 192.168.1.7. And then my default gateway. That is okay, that's being used. And let's find another one. All right, and then our last one. So IP 192.168.1.9 slash 24. Okay, so we got our four IP addresses um, set up, or four hosts set up. So now I'm going to just go ahead and run a continuous ping. So ping 192.168.1.2. Actually, let's see. Oh, we got to start our switch back up here. So we'll give that a second to come back up. Okay, so our switch is back up, so let's go ahead and try to run that again there. Okay, so that's good. Ping. Two. And this is the inside interface of our Palo Alto. So just gonna get this continuous ping ran on all of these. Two. 
to just to get a lot of packets going and on our last host okay so the ping is going there so now that we got that set up so we got this continuous ping going lots of traffic coming in through the firewall but now we want to control all these connections we don't want all these bad actors trying to flood our um interface with these ping attacks trying to see what's up and what's down so to limit that we're going to go to our zones and i'm going to actually test this on the inside zone because this is what i'm actually where it's actually coming from but this still applies to the same thing um, if you're using it for another zone so in the zone, you're going to go to the zone protection profile. And as you can see, it can only be allocated to one profile at a time. So you'll want to have um, profiles set for various things, but you may need to add additional um, mechanisms in there as well. So I got the ping scan set and I'm going to hit OK. Now. Now that that's a part of that protection profile or that zone, this protection profile should start to mitigate some of these ping scans that are coming across. So we should start to see some timeouts. And typically it might take a little, little time to actually get all those across, get the, oh, well actually I forgot. We need to apply that. So right now it's in, it's not in the commits, it's in the commit stage. So let's go ahead and commit that. So yeah, when you make changes on the uh, Palo Alto, um, if you're not familiar, those don't automatically go into the running configuration. It goes into almost like a staged process that then allows you to commit it. And then there's some ways to kind of revert some of those changes and things like that if you haven't committed it for uh, rollback purposes so now we will start to see the timeouts occur because you remember we only allowed two connections so now it's saying oh wait there's no i'm not able to get whoop. so you can see that this might happen because um some of the connections could be going in and out so as you can see it's like oh uh, a connection gets a timeout then another host might be able to get in and get some package through as well. But they, but as you can see, it's slowing down the request in terms of like how many can be um, processed at a time. So that could probably be just a mechanism to kind of mitigate some of the attack on which can happen when, you know, multiple actors are trying to hit your firewall at the same time. So just one kind of, mechanism there and that's just a simple um, setup again inside the network profiles zone protection so again if you haven't um got a chance to uh test with that i would highly recommend pro uh, putting in some of those processes there to kind of prevent some of the issues that can arise when these things crop up Again, you know, check out my blog, letmetechyou.com. Like and subscribe to the videos. I'll be doing more videos on the Palo Alto setups using my EVNG um, lab. If you have any questions in regards to the lab, drop me a comment down below. I'll be sure to get back with you. Again, thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time.